Over the past few weeks, Vice President-elect Harris and I have been announcing nominees to our cabinet. There are people of uh, the highest character, varied experiences and backgrounds, who are going to help us beat this pandemic, keep us safe and secure, and build our economy back better than it ever was. They include longtime colleagues and new faces and new voices. They include people who share my views and those who have different views. They include people who supported my campaign from its earliest days and people who ran against me. They're experts in policy, leaders tested by crises, and by the end of this process, this cabinet will be the most representative of any cabinet in American history. We'll have more people of color than any cabinet ever. We'll have more women than any cabinet ever. We'll have a cabinet of barrier breakers, a cabinet of first. I know how proud presidents are when they're able to achieve a first in their cabinet. I remember when President Clinton named the first ever woman to be Secretary of State. I was there when President Obama named the first ever black attorney general. But compared to the, uh, my predecessors, the Harris-Biden cabinet is first among cabinets of all the firsts it represents. Our cabinet doesn't just have one first or just two of these firsts, but eight precedent-busting appointments. And today, a ninth, the first ever openly gay nominee to lead the ca cabinet department and one of the youngest cabinet members ever. The Biden-Harris cabinet will be an historic cabinet, a cabinet that looks like America, a cabinet that taps into the best of America, a cabinet that is opening doors and breaking down barriers and accessing the full range of talent. We have so much of it, the full range of talent in this nation, a cabinet that ups to, is up to the immediate crises we face, and we face several. And the long-term challenges this nation faces of the future are in this cabinet's hands. It's a cabinet that's battle-tested, qualified, experienced, creative, innovative, and forward-looking, and, yes, representative. 